So this is Baruch, and this is the year in the Kuni Zohar, which we learn for this special time, the time of upcoming and the time of Juma. We remember something that the nature of Emo is a light that comes into us which moves to the bottom of the top. Chuva really is the place of Chuva is Dino, the mother, so to speak. So it's possible to say that. So that it's only natural that as you watch the sun as it's moving now, it's starting to come back to an equilibrium. It was at a very, very high point over the summer. Hot, but now we're in El and the sun is falling. It's time for everything to burn. That's the concept of Juba, but it's built into us as a thing we have. Over here, we're learning that the moon is over and we're at real truth going back to the time of Rabbi Shimon by Yochai. This is a safer called, really they call it the Kesser Kavo, I believe that's the name of the Shiva. I haven't been there, but I don't know what the part will be. But over here, we're going to come over here. We're going to see what we can do about the Rebbe See him again for the umpteenth time as we are looking at this in a little bit in a different way. So these are the words of the Rashbi. Elon Inan Nishmasin, these are the souls. The Elon Maskilan of these, the Kaveirim, which he's calling Maskilan. And I said my own word. It means those who are able to plug into the Nahar of Sod. So. There is a certain aspect of their minds, the Ishtamoy, the Garaza, the Marechon, that they want to know the secrets of their master. They want to know the secrets and want to know what's going on in the world. Uhu Rishim and the Mitsuyorim, all of this is formed up or impressed and formed up, and he. He talked about the physicality of, of the difference of physicality between the Rishima, which refers to Yisod, and the Mitzioring, which refers to Malchus, which is more concrete. The Malchus of the Rikia, the Kokobar, the Naharim, and the this, these, this, these Rishima, these Mitzioring, the Shine of the Malchus of the, of, the, of the heaven. Now, we have to find out what Rikia means because, he, well, he said it means the Yisod, um, the Nog of Malchus. They're like they're like stars that shine in the heavens. That's the concept that you have, or that they shine like the the shining of the of the rikia. And he said the rikia really refers to the episode of Malchus. I mean, the Malchus being the mother of us, it's the Shrina. My rikia. What does he mean by rikia? In the Harim Bein Nishmasim, it's a place where they're shining their Nishmasim, the Maskilim of those who want to, the, that Nishaba that wants to drink of the river, and shine like the stars in the heaven, and that's the same way that they shine into the throne. The last part, I really don't know what it means, and so we're going to go still little by little and try to figure it out. We stopped yesterday in Number Zion. I have a note here to start here. So we're going to go for Number Zion. We're going to go over there. And we'll start reading. We read that part. We're going to go to Number Ches. So the Malchus of the Rakia, it's the Malchus of the Seal of Rakia. We're talking about the Malchus the Yisoda with the Yisod, Shal Malchus the Ratzilus of the Malchus of Ratzilus. So it's in the Yisod of Malchus the Ratzilus. Of the fish and Makom Ivuram Shal Nishamos Elo. And since the place of the gestation of these Nishamos, of Elo Tzadikim, who Shom the Yisod Shal Malchus. So he says, where is the gestation? I mean, it's the 
the shefa comes from the male, comes from the female, but tzaddikim he's talking about. They're found over there in the Yisod of Malchus. That's where they are gestated. And they come downwards towards us. Of course, that was created by man. Woman is people. So since that's the way that the flow went, that's the way that it always is. It was trying to say at the beginning. Man means the movement from the bottom to the top. It's called female waters, the female aspect of ourselves. And incidentally, if you listen to the shir in the early morning, and we're talking about the switches between the monk and the coming to their anpen, and you see that all of us are male and female. And you, it's just the nature of the mixture of life itself, at least in Benimius, now how it works to us, I mean, obviously we're separated to male and female. But there is that mixture of both. In a Kedusha Dika sense, obviously we see in the talk about it, how this is perverted as well. But the, the fact of the matter is a straight idea is, is that there's no male versus female because everything is they're both, it's just about the next. So he's saying over here, the king name Shaman, the Olam Shaman, the so the female aspect of ourselves is always wanting to go back, go back to Bina. Go back to where the original origin of everything is. That's what I said before, it's the concept of joy. Let's look over here in number Ches and see how much of number Ches we could do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this document camera forward a little bit and down. Let's see if we can get it focused on number Ches. The number Ches says like this. He says, Kikol Dabr Shibacham Makom Al Everything that comes from a higher spiritual world, Yahul Meshuv the Makoro can go back. These are Nishamas. All of this is from the throne of the king. Not sure what that means. Rayla Ail, so look over there. Baha'aros Masha Habanda Bishmo. So I said like the Kisei Melech, I'm sorry, is a is a pirush. I I'm sorry. So here also he's pointing it out. And he says that Rakia Shahu you sowed the Malchus. What is the Rakia that sowed the Malchus? He said it several times in the Harim Bay, Nishmasim the Maskilan. That is where the Nishamas of the Maskilan and the Maskilan shine. They want to shine in the Yisod of, they use the word shiny. He said, Yishuhus, you sowed the Malchus, the Naharim Bay that are shining there, the Nishmasim, the Maskilan of these people, those those human beings that want to be a part of this, what I call the river, the river, the Rishash calls the river peace. The Yodin, the Razin, the Barechim, they, they know, they want to know the secrets of their maker, of their master. Sha'olim bo besod man. And because of that, they're constantly bringing man to, to their maker. This is like Rabbi Nachman saying it. Disbited it all the time. Other other uh have different language for basically the same idea. Is they receive the light there. As a result of that, they shine. and as they go up, it will be in the secret of Mayim Nukvin. Because what is it that you want? Because they want to tell you how you get your prayers answered again. Rabbi Nachman, the first blank page. How can you get your prayer by constantly bringing up my nukfit from the bottom to the top? The Haino, Shad Sadikim, Allah, the Lord, the Haim, order them as Yehudim, shall their Anpin and Malchus. What they cause as a result of that, the answers only come through a Yehud that happens up above. That is Kutcher Barichu Shkinta. So he said, It's to tell you the idea of what's this phrase that we call the tzaddikim arabim, matzdiki arabim, people that make the rabbin bring tzaddik to the rabbin. So what is it? Or it sounds like a matzdiki arabim would mean the people that 
you know, able to influence others to do better. Shamora al Shadikim Elu Gormen Ayyhudim El Yoinim. This is really what it means. Because the Sadiqim never stop praying, never stop learning. They're constantly trying to connect to whatever river they plug in. This is the river of so I see that so many people uh I live in the Lit Fisher world, you know, that are really tuned in to the people that they consider to be the Gadolin. I don't think the same exact idea, but it's but these people, these Gedolim are inside the Torah all day, day and night, day and night, and working on their path in Torah. Uh, so in regards to this, you have this Eitzchaim, Shaman Beit, Barak Dalit. He says, uh, and this is Madura Kama, that's what those abbreviation means. He says, Al Sod Shad Sadigim, Hanim Shalim Lutzmochim. So these are the concepts like this. The tzaddikim are really compared to the tzmach and grasses, amizgadlim beginish umal which grow in the garden, which is malchut. And they arouse the yichud even after the churban. Even they're constantly causing yichud. That's what the tzaddikim do. You see a person that's learning all the time, who's trying to connect whatever darach that the, that connection would take. You said that this person is really producing Mayim Nukvin all the time. So there is like there's a, a tzaddik, I'm not sure what he means yet, who is able to elevate his Nisham of Besod Mayim Nukvin of Malchus into the Malchus of the like the words of Shrena. Then there's also a person that is able to elevate his, his Nishama. Besod ma, that is, he brings it back. He brings it back. So the ma, ma'im nukvin is the female cry. The ma, the the the, the mad, the ma'im duchrin, the male one says, "What? Well, don't worry, baby, it's coming." The achar akurban she'ain zivuk because after the churban, the churban, and there is no zivuk. There ain haganin zareya ginaso, and there is no gardener to plant his garden. Rock. He also so mechas min hasvichim, but it's so the weeds start growing. Asher yatzeba when Misham chozer so mechas. Now I said that wrong. Svichim really means sprouts. So in other words, it grows by itself. It is there is no master. There's no basic basic megdash anymore, which we have an automatic yichud going there. That doesn't exist. So he says. He says, "Ve'ain hagana the gardener, so rea ginasu doesn't plant it anymore. Rock ginasu so mechas min aspich bezim, but they grow from sprouts. They grow by themselves. Asher yatziba, they come out from there. Misham chozer so mechas, and then it starts to grow again. Aspichim heim neshamat zetadigim. Who are these sprouts? Who are the sprouts? So the sprouts, which are in Malchus, is what he's trying to talk about over here when he talks about the, the stars and the shining and the brikia." These sprouts or the dushamas, the the people that you know that learn all the time, all constantly trying to reach the ends of Baruch. The Svichim came the shamans the digim ashad samku the yanserim chagina elyon that come from the upper garden, which is the he calls it elyon malchus from this malchus. The chaim chosim the alos sham besod mam and they continually go back there. They really get to go back to this place in the Sod Mad, or Mad, or they bring it back down to us. The Zeh of the Sod, or Zeruah, the Tzadik. This is the concept here now. The light that is planted by the Tzadik, for the Tzadik, the Tzadik. Shekavar Nizra was already planted once before, Mi'akara. Ve'ena Zorea Ata Mechadash. He's not planting it again. It's not being planted again. It's growing of its own from little tiny seeds. Little tiny sprouts, that's what you call sprouts. It sprout back up again. Because that's the nature of the Kedusha. These people are constantly producing my and bringing back down my my dochren. As a result of that, the world is a tremendous blessing to these people. But that was a nice little board right there. And tomorrow, oh, God willing, we'll pick it up again. I keep working on this idea. We need to be as close to Hashem as possible. This is Baruch Fleischmann, keeping elevator. Hold up.